So Jen Kuger went on TYT's The Conversation a couple days back and was interviewed by Anna Kasparian about him, you know, running in California's 25th district to replace Katie Hill. And in particular, they, or I should say Anna brought up Jen Kuger's, or one of Jen Kuger's opponent, uh, Christy Smith, basically, you know, completely ducking out of the debates, not wanting to engage in that at all. Jenk brought up how, you know, him and the other Democratic candidates had reached out to Christy Smith four times. There's evidence she posted about receiving a letter, so she was definitely made aware, but just decided not to participate because she basically thinks she is, you know, in, entitled to this seat for some reason. And then also, um, this is my first time seeing this, but so there's in a neighboring district, the, the 36th district, um, this person named Eric Olson is running in that district. And so um, the district that Katie Smith represents in California's um, state assembly is next to the 36th. This Eric Olson person went and talked to Christy Smith um, and, you know, other people just kind of in the general area that you know, also rep other state assembly people, I should say, just to, you know, talk with them, send out their message. Can I get your endorsement? Can I get your support? <clears throat> that type of thing. So Eric Olson goes and talks to Christy, Christy Smith and Eric Olson is, an is running on a anti-corruption measure. He talks about how California has a super majority, I think, in the House and then in the Senate, so a Democratic supermajority, basically meaning the Democrats could pass any type of legislation that they want, but he points out they usually more often than not do the biddings of the kind of big corporations and wealthy donors and, and that type of thing. And so Christy Smith told Eric Olson that she was personally offended by his anti-corruption message. Like, what? You're offended by his anti-corruption message. Do do I need to say anymore? How can you support a candidate who is okay with corruption, is okay with basically legalized bribery in the form of these corporations and the wealthy being able to, you know, donate a lot of money in order to protect their interests? Christy Smith is okay with that form of legalized corruption, that form of bribery in the political system and you know jank is the total antithesis of that his whole message is anti-corruption getting money out of politics he only takes small money donations he doesn't get any money from any type of super PAC or or anything like that so and then <clears throat> because yeah so she said yeah, that's very offensive. Your anti-corruption mess that's personally offensive to me was actually what, what she said. Because sometimes you have to take money from corporations to do good stuff. You got to take get that corporate cash to do good things for the world. Christy Smith. I'm running for California's 25th district. I mean, they got to like use that in some type of campaign messaging. Or, I mean, if she went participated in a debate I don't think she's going to because she's you know scared of getting called out for this liking corruption and being a centrist and all of these other things but so sometimes you have to take corporate cash to do good things no Christy as Eric was saying corporations give you money so you can do their bidding as Jenk pointed out in this TYT conversation video with Anna Kasparian United um, health group has given money to Christy Smith's campaign and what do you know she doesn't support Medicare for all she supports the watered down public option which would create a two-tiered health care system where the people of, of low income or no income and then as well as the sick people would be pushed off onto the public insurance and the wealthy and the healthy would get have access to private insurance creating a two-tiered healthcare system and basically you know dooming us to the same problems that we have now like people dying and going bankrupt because of the messed up for-profit healthcare system that currently operates in the United States to a huge detriment to the people of the U.S. and to a huge benefit of the 
health insurance companies and pharmaceutical industry and she's okay with that and she gets the money from them and then does their bidding like not supporting you know medicare for all it's like no christy they don't give you money so you can do good things with it they give you money so you can go do the corporations and these health insurance companies bidding once you get elected people see through that they see through your corruption that's why you don't want to get up on the debate stage uh Jank would destroy you, you'd get wrecked. If there's other progressives up there, they could call you out on this so easily and the voters, you know, would have you on on record getting called out on this stuff and you don't want that bad publicity and that's why you're not willing to engage in the democratic process and frankly it's very um sad and disgusting. And we see the type of campaign that Jank is running is um fourth quarter i think campaign uh, contributions he talked about he got around eight hundred thousand dollars in a little bit um over or less than six weeks T campaign has two thousand volunteers already um, and i think it was around twenty thousand or so plus donations to it so it's very similar to bernie's campaign it's very much a grassroots a populist movement supported by these small campaign contributions very you know lots of volunteers lots of enthusiasm lots of you know support not just you know in that district but from around the country this whole just um kind of movement towards progressive candidates and just the not me us movement of really electing you know politicians hopefully to the white house and then in congress and on a local and a state level that you know, are willing to stand up and fight for the American people to get these really important things done, like, you know, Medicare for all, a Green New Deal, free college, you know, ending ending the wars, legalizing marijuana, taxing Wall Street, you know, all of these other types of things. And it's really awesome to see the support that Jenks campaign is getting. Let's, you know, do everything we can to you know, make sure he's elected. We need as many strong, powerful, progressive voices in Congress as we as we can. We need more people like Jank, more people like AOC, like Rashida Tlaib, like Ilhan Omar, like Bernie Sanders, like um, Ruhl Khanna. And not to say that these um, they are all perfect or you know progressive enough on every issue, but it's like we really have a you know a great group of progressive left congress people and jank would just you know further further add to that so let's again do everything we can to throw our support behind jank's campaign and make sure he gets elected and not this neoliberal centrist christy smith who won't even engage in a debate and is is okay with corruption she thinks the corporations are giving her campaign money to do good things but we see they're giving her money so she doesn't support really important things like Medicare for all that would save lives, save money. People wouldn't be going bankrupt. Let's let's make sure we get Jen collected.